Hi, I'm Eric Haney from Haney Reels, here today with Rob Mochman. And Rob is going to illustrate how to safely install hose on any Haney retractable spring reel. So Rob, what kind of reel do we have here and uh, what kind of hose are you putting on? Eric, what we have here today is a spring retractable reel capable of handling a 50 foot length of half inch hose. And we've chosen an industrial air hose to put on this this time. Okay. So at this time, I'm gonna go walk Re over and grab our hose. Retrieve the hose. Okay, while you're doing that, Rob, I'm gonna show the tools that you've laid out here. Uh, it's very simple. All you're going to need for this installation would be some sort of open-ended wrench. Uh, a crow's foot wrench would be preferable because of the narrowness of the spool. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver for the end when we're putting the hose stop on the end of the hose. And beyond that, all we need is Teflon tape, which I'm going to hand to Rob right now so he can tape the fitting on the end. This spring reel has no tension on it whatsoever at this time. We're going to take and install the hose on the outlet riser. I'm going to thread it in place like so. I finger tighten it in to get the thread started so that we don't cross the threads. And I'm going to take and grab that crow slip from you. And I'm going to tighten everything up. Okay. Tighten the threads down to approximately 80 foot pounds. And we are set there at this okay. time. Now, Eric, we're going to wind the spool. We're going to wind the spool up. What we're going to do is we're going to count the revolutions that it takes to put this hose on the reel. The spring takes approximately 17 working turns. Uh, now, how did you know 17 turns? Well, the 17 turns that is on this spring comes. It's basically told right in the model number. What the model number has the. Uh, so there's a document that comes with the warranty envelope yes, that is. says this is a J spring. It has 17 working turns. Yes. Okay. okay. So what you're going to do, I assume, is uh, pre-wind the hose, you could say, on this reel. That is correct. Without introducing tension to the spring motor. That is correct. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. This time we're going to count the revolutions. I'm going to use a piece of tape to cheat with the count so okay. I can keep track easily. And I'm going to go off camera and help you guide the hose in. Does that sound good? Yes, please. Okay. We're going to start counting the revolutions. Next time that piece of tape comes up, that's what a revolution that we count. That's one, two, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And basically, we put fourteen turns on the spool. The spring actually calls for seventeen working turns. What we're going to do is we're going to take and put the hose back through the spool. Wind this. So you're adding the last three turns is that what you're is doing. That is correct. To make the full 17 turns. That's two. And that is three. Be very careful to hold on to the hose. So until you just put those three turns on, there was still no tension in the spring motor. That is correct. Now there is some tension, but only three working turns. Yes. Okay. Believe it or You'd not. You'd like me to hold that, I imagine. Hold that? Yep. We're going to take and get ready to install the hose stop. Okay. All right, at this point, it's safely locked. I'll give you the hose stop and a Phillips screwdriver. Now just keep in mind when we put the hose stop in place, we're going to time the stop with the spool. When I mean time the stop with the spool, when the hose stop bumps up against that roller, we want the lock assembly to take and be in the neutral position. So by neutral position, you mean when this hose stop is butted right up against that roller, you want the locking ratchet pawl on the front of the reel to not be enge engaged with a tooth. Into the ratchet Into the width. ratchet teeth. That is correct. Okay, so we have to find that sweet spot. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly snug that. We're going to work this so that as this stop comes back, we're going to listen to the, to the hits. This should come back into a neutral position. Basically right there, the lock is not engaged, and this is a safe place to put the hose stop. So you're going to tighten it down at this point. Tighten the stop down. And at this time, we can put the quick connect on, whatever fitting is required, and this reel is ready to go. Ready to go. Thanks very much, Rob. You're